Hi, everyone. Welcome to the virtual information session for Duke University's Nicholas School of the Environment and the Water Resources Management Program. Uh, my name is Jim Heffernan. I'm an assistant professor uh, in the Environmental Science and Policy Division in the Nicholas School, uh, and I am also currently the director of the Water Resources Program. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, the vision that we have for the Water Resources Program uh, and how that's reflected in our curriculum. Um, water is an inherently local resource, uh, and so every place, every climate, every region has a different and unique set of management challenges. Uh, so our goal is to equip you uh, with the most recent, the best science, uh, the best tools uh, to craft solutions, effective solutions to any water quality problem. Water management is an inherently interdisciplinary problem. Uh, and so our goal is for our curriculum to give you exposure to the breadth of uh, disciplinary concepts uh, and tools that you will need while also giving you the ability uh, to specialize uh, in uh, the tools, approaches, and problems that are most relevant to your career goals. We provide a strong basis in the physical, chemical, and ecological sciences across uh, systems including watersheds, groundwater, wetland, and coastal environments. You will gain an understanding of the economic, legal, and financial factors that drive water management decisions and develop uh, way, different perspectives uh, uh, with which to assess uh, water resource management problems. Uh, the faculty in the Water Resource Management Program uh, reflect uh, this disciplinary breadth. So we have faculty with expertise uh, in aquatic ecosystems, uh, in climate change and hydrology, uh, in urban water management and uh, the water quality and water supply issues associated with energy development. We have experts in water policy and politics, um, in the um, governance and management of water utilities, uh, and in the financial mechanisms that underlay uh, the critically important infrastructure that is such a central part of how we manage water uh, in the United States and around the world. So our curriculum uh, is part of the Masters of Environmental Management program, and so that means that it includes the core requirements uh, of that degree program. That includes three uh, relatively uh, short classes in professional communications, an introduction to uh, how to write a master's project, uh, and a seminar uh, that you are enrolled in continuously throughout your time here at Duke um, associated with each uh, concentration within the MEM program. Uh, and then finally, uh, you're required uh, to sub uh, complete a master's a capstone project uh, that begins uh, late in the first year. For the Water Resources Management Program specifically, uh, we, we ask students to uh, enroll in uh, four core courses uh, in, each of these in each of the categories. Uh, there are a number of classes that can fulfill these requirements, uh, but we ask students to complete a course in physical sciences that might be climate or hydrology. Uh, in the chemical sciences, um, because water quality problems are such a um, pervasive problem. Uh, in the biological and ecological sciences, uh, because the, um, the ecological responses to uh, water management are one of the things that motivates and constrains water management decisions. Um, and finally, one course in environmental economics, law, or policy. So everyone has to take those core classes, and that makes sure that you have the breadth of understanding that you need uh, to engage at a basic level in water resource management problems. Uh, the other two major categories for the curriculum uh, allow you to specialize in particular areas, uh, including water management. Uh, you can take uh, additional classes in water science. Uh, we have the ab courses that uh, can introduce you to uh, challenges associated with water management internationally and around the, around the globe. 
Uh, and we also have a wetland science and management track that specifically allows you uh, to obtain uh, wetland science certifications. Uh, now, beyond those, uh, t the topical specialization uh, in these particular areas, we also require students to develop uh, expertise uh, in one or more uh, tools and techniques that are widely used in water resource management. Uh, that can include uh, geospatial analysis um, for mapping of uh, watershed characteristics, uh, transfers of water across uh, within and across basins, the distribution of infrastructure, and a variety of important problems. Uh, another uh, focus that many students adopt is in uh, uh, statistical uh, and uh, physically based modeling of uh, water resources and water resources management. We also have uh, courses available to help uh, students develop uh, their expertise uh, in field and laboratory techniques, uh, or at least introduce them to those techniques, uh, and many students engage in uh, the research of faculty uh, in the natural sciences, uh, in hydrology, in water quality, in aquatic ecology, in order to really flesh out that sort of, uh, that sort of expertise. So these specializations uh, would involve uh, crafting a uh, curriculum uh, that focuses on a particular area. If you're focused in water management, you might take additional classes in law, economics, and policy. Uh, if you're interested in water science, uh, you might take a number of our courses in stream ecology, wetland ecology, hydrology, and climate. Um, if you're interested in water internationally, we have a number of uh, courses that address water resource management problems uh, elsewhere uh, around the world. Um, uh, and these specializations uh, are uh, complemented by the certificate programs that typically focus on uh, tools development. Uh, so our Master's of Environmental Management degree includes certificate programs in geospatial analysis, uh, that's a four-course sequence uh, in community-based environmental management. So in addition to these specializations, we have certificate programs, uh, each typically aligned with a tools requirement in our curriculum uh, that, focus, that uh, enriches a student's understanding uh, and application of specific technical tools. Uh, each of these certificate programs is, uh, includes four required classes. Uh, and those certificates are uh, geospatial information systems, community-based environmental management that gives students an understanding of uh, how to engage with uh, diverse stakeholder groups, uh, which is a common resource management ap uh, approach in water. Uh, and finally, we have a new uh, certificate in climate science and applications uh, that includes uh, additional training in both the physical science of the climate uh, as well as uh, a uh, coursework focused on the impacts of climate uh, on society. Uh, finally, our wetland science and management uh, certificate is not administered by, uh, by the Nicholas School, um, but we have a sequence uh, in place that uh, corresponds to the Society of Wetland Scientists uh, professional in training program. One of the really interesting things uh, that I've seen in my time uh, as faculty and now director of the water resource management program uh, is the incredible diversity of career paths that students are able uh, to follow following this degree program. We have one group of students that uh, typically go into uh, water resources management through uh, major non-governmental organizations like the Nature Conservancy. Um, we have uh, students who work for uh, major corporations with water resource management challenges. Uh, we have students who work for uh, local, state, and federal governmental agencies putting water policy uh, into practice. Um, and we have some students who develop technical expertise in water uh, that they go and apply uh, in other sectors once they leave the degree program, um, particularly students with expertise in uh, statistical modeling and geospatial analysis. Uh, those are highly transferable uh, tools. 
Uh, so uh, from my perspective, uh, if you're wondering uh, what can I do with a water resources management degree, um, the answer is almost anything. Uh, the, the range of uh, employment uh, and career trajectories that our students take uh, are incredibly broad, not just across different sectors of the economy from government to private uh, and non-governmental organizations, uh, to, uh, but also uh, in terms of the range of water problems that they're engaged with.